Hello everyone guys, this is me, Master Teacher Aditya Arya. Welcome all of you on this channel and we are going to solve JW Mains 2023 question, question number 7. And those who do not know me, just give you a quick brief introduction that I have cleared this examination a decade ago, successfully in the year 2010 and 2011. And now I'm helping you guys to solve, uh, to clear this paper. So if you're having any issues that you're going through, because trust me, when I was preparing for this examination, I was going through a lot of issues. I was not expecting it initially that I can clear this examination, but I was having deep dedication. I was having hardcore dedication that I wanted to clear it and I overcome all the obstacles. Now it's your turn to make the history and let me know in the comment box how I can help you out. I have given you my number if it's still, but if you have not noted it, if you have not saved this number, you can note it down 807-867-6186. Don't worry, I will pause. I will slow down my speed while solve the problem. All right. So all I want from you guys is for long concentration. That's all I want from you guys and pen paper. That's all. And if you guys wanted me to have this video in Hindi also, let me know. I will be really helpful to work with you hard. All right. So let's start. JW means 2023 questions from vector algebra and free geometry. This is question number seven. So what they have given is a vector, b vector, c vector. All right. And they have given d vector, d vector, which is perpendicular to both a and b. Basic concepts of NCRT. If I wanted to have a vector perpendicular to two given vectors, all I have to do take a cross product. But is it necessary? that vector D and vector A cross B, let's suppose A cross B is E vector. Is it necessary that D vector and E vector are same? No. What we can say that D vector is parallel to, is in the same, is parallel to the E vector in the same direction of line. All right. So we can say second concept, if two vectors are parallel, one of the vector is lambda times of other vector. These two concepts we are going to use and they are not new. I have discussed these concepts in my earlier videos also, guys. All right. So D vector is lambda times of E vector. The question is, what is E vector? A cross B. Let's solve. What is A cross B? So A cross B is those who do not know. Please make a note of it. That's how you will solve in the determinant way. I cap, J cap, K cap. And those who really don't want to solve, please, I don't want to solve in determinant form. Can we have a formula? Don't worry, I'm going to give you in this video. So what we're going to do? 2, 7, minus. What is 2, 7, minus 1? Components, x component, y component, z component. What is b vector? 3, 5, no, mistake. Don't do this mistake. Read the question properly. It's 3i, 5k. There is no j cap, guys. So here, 0 j cap and 5k cap. Chale, let's do it in the different form. And you guys will have the same answer. All we have to understand, x component, if I want to have x component of a cross b, all I have to do is multiply y component of a with z component of b this is the formula all right if you want to remember formula you can go ahead minus y component of a z component of b so when i'm talking about x component of a cross b i'm multiplying y and z component of a and b that's right now minus j cap all right, minus j cap over here. I will multiply a x b z minus a z b x. All right, guys. And this is a formula. If you wanted to have formula in that case, otherwise it's good to go. You can skip this portion of the video. All right, plus. K cap. I do not remember this formula. That's why I need to read again this uh, determinant portion. It is AX BY AX BY minus AY BX. This what you know. What is AX BX and so on? So A vector assuming is AX I cap 
प्लस ए वाई जे कैप प्लस ए जेड के कैप एंड बी वेक्टर इज ए बी एक्स आई कैप बी एक्स इज एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ बी वेक्टर बी वाई इज वाई कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ जे वेक्टर एंड बी जेड जेड इज इन द डाउन पार्ट ओके लुक्स लाइक अफिक्स हो गई नाउ आई एम सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड डूइंग इट क्विकली सो दिस विल बी थर्टी फाइव माइनस जीरो इट्स थर्टी फाइव आई कैप फॉर जे कैप इट विल बी टेन माइनस 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 थर्टीन जे कैप so you can pause this video and take your time to solve this part and for k it will be minus 21 k k i am doing this in the real time okay you have to be that quick all right so this is your e vector so what is d vector guys d vector will be lambda times of 35 i cap minus 13 j cap minus 21 k cap and now they have given c dot d is equal to 12 we have learned what is a dot product in the previous videos that dot product means multiply the components of the same direction what is c it's i minus j plus 2k i minus j plus 2k i minus j plus 2k multiply this taking dot product with lambda times of this d vector basically so 35 lambda i cap Minus thirteen lambda j cap minus twenty one lambda k cap. Enjoy your maths, guys. It's not boring. Enjoy your maths. All right. You have to start enjoying every subject, whether it's chemistry, whether it's physics. You are the future of this country. And if you feel boring, you think so. You are boring. Yeah, this is very boring. Then don't don't do engineering. That's not for you. All right. So I. Dot thirty five lambda i is thirty five lambda minus j minus thirty lambda is plus thirteen lambda two multiply minus twenty one lambda is minus forty two lambda is equals to twelve solve it thirty five plus thirteen is forty eight minus forty two is six lambda is equals to twelve from here if you solve you will have lambda is equals to two all right guys. Now this means d vector is thirty five into two is seventy i cap. Thirty into two is minus twenty six j cap, and minus twenty one into two is minus forty two k cap. Now what they are asking you that this into c cross t is what? All right. So first I will calculate c cross d. What is c cross d? Let's do. Think what is c cross d vector is equals to same way i j k all right i j k and what they are having over here what is c vector c vector is this one i minus j plus two k i minus j plus two k and what is d vector seventy minus twenty six minus forty two guys. You have to do it quickly. You can pause this video and calculate quickly. I am solving the real time. This will be forty-two plus fifty-two. Forty-two plus fifty-two, which will give you ninety-four. All right, you have ninety-four. I get. For J cap, this will be minus forty-two plus one forty. This will be ninety-eight minus ninety-eight. All right, minus ninety-eight. Sorry, yeah, minus ninety-eight J. Correct me if I am wrong. And for k we will be having minus twenty six plus seventy is forty uh, four. Yes, k. Okay. And now I have to take a dot product of this one with i minus j. Ah, uh, yes, this one minus i plus j minus k minus i plus j minus i plus j minus k. Taking dot product with ninety four i. Minus ninety eight j plus forty four k. All right. So mm -hmm, let me just cross verify because I guess. Uh, let me just cross verify this particular thing. So seventy is forty two. Forty two um, plus fifty two. Forty two plus fifty two is ninety four. That's correct. Uh, I'm just cross verifying the uh, calculation part. Mm. 
and this i wala portion is 94 minus 94 that is correct and this portion just cross verify this portion. okay my mistake i have done some mistake for j it's 1 into minus 42 is minus 42 and 17 to 2 is minus 140 so this will be minus 182 my mistake and minus or minus becomes plus that's where i have done mistake sorry for that 182j all right okay so coming back to this calculation part again 182j so minus 1 into now same component minus 94 plus 182 and minus 44 solve this calculation what we are going to have is let's check this will be minus 138 plus 182. 182 minus 138 will be 40, 42, 44. So that's your answer, guys. And I will be waiting for your comments. Do you really like this explanation? And let me know in the comment box. And don't forget to share your doubts, your problems in the comment box. See you in the next video with question number eight. Bye-bye. Take care, guys.